crnradio.com. You can tell them to put a cork in it, but they'll tell you. It's the liquor talking with Ryan Maloney and Spirits Meet Me. Jim Randall at Jim Bean Cold Store Studio at Julio's Liquors, Route 9 in Westbrook. Hello, everybody, and welcome to It's the Liquor Talking right here on WCRN AM 830. And uh, we're down in the, the cold storage warehouse down the, in the metro station at Julio's Liquors on Route 9 in Westboro. I'm joined this morning, of course, by the incomparable, the one, the only, thank God, Randall J. Bird. <laughs> Yeah, well, here I am. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> but on top of that, of course, we have the, the real star of the person. Well, let me let me get his music going. There he comes, making his way to the dais. El Ray, the great one. It's the wine of the week. All right, it's the wine of the week. It's time for the wine of the week. Stop we start the show that way. Yeah. I don't know why, but we do. Get rid of that nonsense. Anyways. Yeah. Hey, Ray, how you doing? I'm doing great, Ryan. You recovered? Uh, yeah, that was a awesome event. Yeah, awesome a great event, event Wednesday night, Randall. You missed it. Oh, we boy, had, yeah. We had Rich Hartenberger here from uh, Midnight Sellers. Midnight Sellers, yeah. And yeah. uh, it went, it, that was phenomenal. Probably uh, the best way one stay, since way, stay, way, yeah. way before pre COVID. You yep. can get, you can check it out. It's, it's on our uh, Facebook page, um, Julia's Liquor's Facebook page. It's on uh, wherever you get your podcast. Look for It's Liquor Talking on Cousin Vinny, already has it up. You can watch that. Uh, we tasted through all the Midnight Sellers wines. It was fantastic, and we had a little bit of a. Uh, we also had a little bit of a um, a little bit of a news break. Um, Rich has agreed um, to let us do another project with him. Yeah. So we're going to be doing some wine blending, and we're going to have we're going to we're going to try to recreate our 2016 uh, wine that we did with him, which was called. What was it called? Mooncraft. 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 Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna try to do that. That that one went awesome. So we're gonna try to do that. So that's another. So thing. are you so, just pandering to like a nostalgia play? Well, it's their fiftieth anniversary. <laughs> so you know, I'm gonna good old some, days, yeah. twenty sixteen. Uh, yeah. Simply carefree. Uh, yeah. yeah. Forgive. So we're gonna so, do that. Yeah. Great event because he's an amazing presenter. He has a lot of yeah. good information. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that the wine was fantastic that he was sampling. Agreed to do this project. Yep. Was that what made it such a great event, or was it? You know what it was? It was a combination. I had I had Rich there, and I had El Ray was up up yeah. with me on the dais. We had a full packed house, so we had like fifty over fifty people here that night. Yeah, uh, a lot of wine flowed, uh, and we got a lot we got a lot done. I think we sold like uh, over fifteen cases that night, just that night. Wow, um, one hour, so, yeah, um, in an hour basically. Yeah. So yeah. it was it was it was a lot of fun. We did a lot of fun doing it. Now. That all being said, all right, we got we got the wine of the week. Father's Day is is next weekend. Okay, you got to buy your dad something good because you're not the reason he drinks, anyways, right? So Ray, what is the wine of the week this week? So today's wine of the week, because look, Father's Day is really about grilling. You know, uh, Mother's Day it's more brunch and going taking the mother out to restaurants. Okay, Father's Day is more grilling. So throw dad on the Barbie, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dad, it's your day. Go cook us some burgers. So today's offering uh, is from Lodi, California. Okay. Uh, the producer is Michael and David. Actually, Michael and David Phillips. They're two brothers. And their wine is called Freak Show. You may know uh, their original wine, uh, Seven Deadly Zins. And one of the reasons is, uh, for that being the original uh, offering, is Lodi for years, decades, has been known as the Zen capital of yeah. California. Okay. And Randall, I'm not sure you know this or not, but Lodi produces about 20% of all the grapes in California. Mm. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, to put that in a little bit more perspective, uh, if you add Sonoma and Napa together, it does not equal what Lodi produces. Wow, I didn't realize yeah. it was that big of an area. So Lodi is in the Central Valley. Mm -hmm. California. It's pretty close to Modesto, Sacramento, Paso Robles. Yeah. And one of the great things in that little microclimate, it does have a heavy influence from the Pacific Ocean. 
So that helps in the growing and the, uh, the harvesting of the grapes. One of the things you guys might may not also know is Freak Show was going to be the name of this radio show originally. <laughs> yeah. But we decided to go with It's the Liquor Talking. And I think, although I, I like It's the Liquor Talking, Freak Show might have been more accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Truth and advertising. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So uh, this particular wine is their Cabernet Sauvignon. It's uh, more of a medium body style, which go, go great today or this weekend, next weekend, uh, mm. grilling hamburgers, oh, yeah. sausage, even even steak on the grill. So it's yes, uh, it's good enough to go with a nice steak. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Uh, so basically, uh, as far as again, I always say this smelling and tasting a wine is very subjective. However, here, Ryan, you're probably going to pick up some black fruit. Black cherry, black, 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 black berries, blackberries. Yep, that. Black, black raspberry, berry, yep. black cherry, a uh, little hint of chocolate there as well. Some vanilla. It's really nice. Very easy drinking, but it's still good structure, though. Good structure to it. Yeah. Uh, and on the palate, you're going to get, the, again, the black fruit, black raspberry, black cherry. A little uh, tannin kick to yeah, it. Look, actually, uh, you pick up a little clove in there as well. Some exotic yep. spices there it, as well. And a little cocoa which is uh, kind of characteristic of uh, where Lodi is and some of the uh, flavor profile. I will let everybody happening. know that I will probably be doing the grill. And this is going to be a shameless plug for my friend, Steve Eulis from Fireflies Barbecue in, um, in, in, in Malvo. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. He's come up with this product. It's called Flavor Q. And it's basically this grill grid that you put down underneath your grill and you're and if you have a gas grill mm -hmm. underneath the, the cooking surface, but you put it right on top of the you know the heat reflectors. Right. You put it right on top of that, and then you have like this, this these woods wood pellets. They're charcoal basically, and you put them on top of it, and then you cook that way. Um, you let them get going, and you, and you go and you cook that way. So on the gas grill, you can get that whole charred wood sort of effect on your steaks and stuff. It is phenomenal. It's so great because it all burns away and it's like ash. So if you want, if you have a gas grill and like the convenience of it, uh, Flavor Q actually gives you the full experience if you want you want it to cook on wood. Um, really, really great product. He didn't know I was going to do this today, but I know I'm going to be using this weekend because I cleaned the grill. <laughs> so I know I'm going to be using it this weekend. So um, and are there different varieties of like the wood or the right flavors? now? It's just a, it's just like his sort of uh, signature wood combination. Okay. And it's a bunch of hardwoods. I couldn't tell you what was in it, but I tastes, think the bag tells you delicious. what's in it. But yeah. it's, oh, it's it's really, really good. Okay. I find it works better with stuff that you cook a little bit longer, like a steak or something like that. Burgers, sometimes they're good. But um, I have to get it really going because uh, it has to fill the, uh, the 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 thing with more of the smoke. And you don't cook a burger that long. I don't anyways. They basically right. pass it over. Exactly. Now, do you but, ever but, do yeah. vegetables or other things that you're yeah. grilling? Oh, absolutely. And that affects it as well? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We do, we do all sorts of vegetables on the grill, and it, and it gives us this great, great flavor. So and I when, now, when, when is this grilling? Yeah, this, this grilling is probably going to happen on. This grilling is probably going to happen on Sunday. You won't be there. Um, well, I'm in the neighborhood <laughs> for some reason, but let me know if I should stop by and just. But now I have my wine. Yeah, I want to get some perfect. freak show. Yeah, because uh, this would be perfect. So this is 2021 vintage, okay. and it's regular price at 19.99. A minute. But today we're going to, and all of next week we're going to take off 15. percent Oh, okay. So it's a 15 percent discount. Wow. On. A bottle. Uh, I mean, it's great to buy it by the case, but you know, it's this, by the this bottle punk is well. above its uh, pay grade. Oh, positively. You know what I mean? It oh, really yeah. does. I mean, it, I thought it was. I thought you were going to say like twenty five bucks. No, nineteen ninety nine. It. I mean, it and it, lower than that. Yeah. So under twenty dollars, even regularly, and it's now fifteen off of that. Good deal. Off that. Yeah. Yep. Good deal, really. That's a good. That's good. And by the way, um, this is a great one too. But you guys still have all of the um, midnight sellers up there too. Yes, uh, we have some. We went uh, through a lot. Yeah. If anybody wants to come in today, we have some, uh, all the wines, albeit not full bottles, but we do have it from uh, Wednesday? Thursday night. Oh, Thursday night, excuse me. Thursday, Thursday night. Uh, I tasted them last night again before I left. They're One still minute. hanging in there great. So come on in. No, you can try some them. stuff. And yeah. you can try Freak Show. And you show. can taste Freak Show as well. You can see a Freak Show if you want to yeah. take a gander on, if you want to go to uh, Julio's Liquors Facebook page. Uh, we are uh, live streaming there too of the of the show. If you're not listening to us on the radio, hopefully you're listening there. Thanks. And we got. Uh, oh, Johnny, we have like how long do we got left? 
35 seconds. 35 seconds. Johnny, what was your question? It was bottle, bottle shock. shock. Okay. So uh, when wine, Quickly. let's, let's talk California. When wine is shipped out of California, it, uh, it either comes by train or it comes by truck. And along the way, coming to the East coast from the West coast, you're going to have temperature variants. You're going to have pressure variants. And that's seconds. going to affect the flavor profile of the wine. Now, if it's coming directly from West coast to us, it needs to rest. If it's coming from the West coast to distributors, it's already resting at the that distributors. distributors. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, there you yeah. go, Johnny. Did that answer your question? That's bottle shot. And you like the wine right that now. needs to rest, uh, we're going to take a break here. Right. At, there you go. Uh, it's the liquor talking. Ray's going to get upstairs. He's going to sell some wine. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Pay some right. people out on it. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, Ray. You got to, don't get tangled in there. Now, my question's about bottle shock and awe. There's no such thing as bottle shock and awe. Oh, okay. It doesn't get better if by get, getting no, bounced around. No, if you get bounced around, may it may a lot of other yeah. people may feel better, but it doesn't get any better. I think uh, I think Kenny's showing up later too. Um, so hopefully he'll be here today. Let's see. Um You should have like the chute that just comes from upstairs and just drops you right into the chair. That would be good, wouldn't you it? You know what I mean? Boom, right there. Right Right there. Hey, uh, a couple things that I wanted to mention, and I'll mention them later on when we're on the radio too. But um, Gin Rummy is next week. Yes. Um, next Saturday, it is um, uh, Saturday, June fifteenth, from two p.m. to three thirty p.m. It's a ten dollar gift card. You can go on JuliusLiquors dot com, go to the events page, buy a gift card on the events page. It'll show pop yep. it right there. It's a ten dollar gift card, but you can bring a friend too. So it's two of you on a ten dollar gift. And it's card. a festival celebrating not only gins and rums, but spirits in general and so all sorts of kind of bargains, but also bring your dad or if yeah, you're it's buying the day a before gift, Father's Day, purpose. right? Yeah. If you if you're if you're so inclined to procrastinate, as I know Randall is so oh, inclined yeah. to do, um, that that you can come and have some fun and get your and get your dad a gift. Yeah. All in the, all at the same time. It's called I think they call that multitasking. Sure. And then I can tell my dad all about it <laughs> at home in Sacramento. You gonna ship him out anything? No. You might get bottle shot. No, no, I, I've got some stuff that's going out, but it's not. Oh, you not do? Going to be alcohol. Oh, really? What'd you get your dad? Now I, I don't know. Well, my now mom I'm gonna watches, ask you. But I, you know, I got them. Hey, uh, but... mom, don't tell dad. All right. No, this what was a conversation get? that we had previously. But our family used to get bizarre kitchen accoutrement and send them as gifts and not explain what they were so you get like these weird items and sometimes a year or two later you'd figure out what it was this is all pre-internet yeah late 70s early 80s and one of the ones that i remembered was this like kind of flat little piece of metal with a clip so it would go in your pocket okay. but it was like slightly curved and it took us about a year and a half to figure out that it was a crumb scraper for waiters oh yeah yeah to clear the table so that kind of yeah. stuff like you would find some weird kitchen accoutrement for you they need a bulldozer right but and then you'd send it without an explanation so right. there's Great a package job, with some of those uh going out to my folks so. oh that's nice so that's what you're gonna get that's what you that's what you, you got him uh what did you get now that still didn't answer the question well i can't uh, reveal it before he gets it because i i can't explain what it is let me see one's a small uh box your mom's not listening press. so if you want right, to yeah, go, but should, we should go look it up um and it's for making a uh, hard-boiled egg square because that's important. That way they well, won't they roll away. Lot, right, exactly. They won't roll away. Can... Oh, it's so cool and practical. Yeah. And just uh, awkward. 30 <laughs> seconds, guys. All right. We're going to come back to the show. A lot of egg and butter based gifts. In Is there? Uh, yeah. yeah. And f I find that I find that really hard to believe. <laughs> well, one of the things that I, I should bring this in just to show you is called a butter cutter. And you put a cube, a stick of butter in it, and you squeeze it almost like a stapler, and out pops a. Oh boy! A All right, quiet on the set, slice please. Of butter. All right, let's get back to our our, our show, a radio show already in progress. They cannot offend you because they know not what they say. Live from the Jim Beam Cold Storage Studio in the heart of Julio's Liquors, Route 9 in Westboro, it's the Liquor Talking with your hosts, Ryan Maloney and Spirits Medium, Randall Byrne.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to It's the Liquor Talking right here on WCRN AM 830. And we are broadcasting from Julio's Liquors on Route 9 in Westboro. We're down in the Metro Station. Uh, oh, Kenny just Kenny just breezed on in here. All right. Like, you know, a lot of care in the world. You know why he breezed on in here? Because he can. You no, know, because it was time for the drink of the show. That's and right. Kenny didn't want to miss that. I was so... going to say, we had the wine of the week. Yeah. And now uh, the coffee mug, which typically yep. holds uh, our drink of the show. Drink is of the show. Saddenly empty. It, well, I'm going to fill it right now. Kenny's yep. going to put his headphones on. I'm going to put his sound up so we can hear what he's saying. I what can't nonsense, hear what, saying. what nonsense he's saying. He's whispering. So, Randall, the, the drink of the show today is a little bit different uh, in that it's not a product that's available yet. Switch with you. Um, this is actually a it looks like a sample that you're pouring out. barrel sample that we that we got of a product we just picked. And I don't think we've done this one yet. And I certainly haven't done it with have had it with Kenny yet. This is going to be our new Weller foolproof. Yeah, I know be Kenny. Weller. Yeah, yeah. Kenny loves. I'm Weller. not well. Yeah, uh, yeah. So this one here is going to be called um, Blackjack. So nice. uh, this will be. A Weller 114 full proof, and it's going to be called Blackjack. Full and proof? Full, it, yeah. full proof. So in your yeah, case, we couldn't, it should we couldn't be actually, full proof. Yeah. But um, try that out and see what you guys like, if you like it. We're so foolish that we couldn't call it full proof. Man, it tastes better now than it did when we picked it. Really good. The studio audience can come up and grab this, and they can they can. No, a Blackjack, like a car. Mm. Like something to get smacked in the back. No, of the like head. a blackjack, like twenty-one. Oh, okay. Twenty-one did blackjack. You, did you read this? I think people should hear this. Randall usually says that. Yeah, um, we put this in our coffee mugs, and when we used to start the show, people would always ask us what's in our coffee mugs, and we like to tell them that it's nobody's business. But today, we will tell you that it's Weller, foolproof, our project that we picked, but from the pre-sample. Don't get excited and come down. It's not here. It's yet. not here yet. But oh, it will it's be still unobtainium. It's yeah. still unobtainium. You're absolutely correct. So, well, since Kenny's here, since Kenny's here, and we've done. Do you like that? Do you like that, Weller? Better than good. Okay, good. Now <clears throat> there was some big news this week. It was all over the interwebs. I know because I got nailed with it about three times <laughs> because he goes, "Did you know your buddy Kenny? Did you know?" That? So, would you like to tell us the 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 big news of the 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 position that you? Uh, on the on the board that you just took up, um, oh, how boy. about John just poured us a great drink? Oh well, yeah, we can do that too. <laughs> was the position okay. compromised? Was the position compromised? <laughs> yeah, are there pictures well, of the position? Yeah, yeah. And do we need to black? Is it blackjack <laughs> or blackmail? Um, okay, first of all, I did just uh, have the honor of accepting a board seat with Icelandic Glacial water from iceland shameless promotion obviously uh right so our new here. sponsor of the show is iceland <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah so um very happy to be on board with these guys and looking forward to going this, to reykjavik for one thing well that we, randall and i were curious do, do we get to go and you know maybe not in the luggage maybe. but but do we get to go to to reykjavik with you and uh you know like help will out? you be meeting bjork Let's get to the bottom of, of this whole thing right now. So. Um, I don't know, but I, I might drive a Buick. Is that similar? That is not similar <laughs> whatsoever. So you actually brought uh, us some stuff today. So what did you yeah, these are things This is Google. what's uh, this when Kenny gets to do stuff, we get stuff and we like that. Yeah. Um, Icelandic glacial. And this one yeah, is these are Tahitian essence, lime. zero calories and they're right. just essence of lemon, lime and orange. Now, I just want I just want to point out that. Like as I'm pouring this to you, for you guys to try it, it's. Uh, what did they have to do to land you? Because getting Kenny, getting Kenny on the board is actually a pretty. I know we we have him on a radio show and we goof around, but but Kenny is actually a really big deal in the beverage industry. I know you're shaking your head, but I'm gonna lie. You're lying and you're wrong, and you don't jump on many boards um to to be on the board so what did they even in summer what, yeah in in the pool yeah. yeah um what did they what was something about this company that you felt that you had like that you wanted to be on the board of this company the uh i'm this, interviewing this, you this, now, the, C the ceo is has been a, a good friend and okay. uh years ago told me that 
whether I liked it or not, I was going to become his guru and mentor. And he happens to be a great guy. So that is what happened over the last decade. But the turning point is that they just got some serious funding. So okay. they now have the dry powder, if you will, to really make a run in this game. So I what a game like is top. helpful. I know what a game is top, but it's also the largest single category, category right. in retail in the U S now outselling carbonated soft drinks as of about two years ago. I do like the packaging on this packaging is really, really, really nice. It's eye catching. It's simple, but eye catching. Tastes great um, too. Right yeah, it's really line. good. I like this one. This is Tahitian lime. Yeah. We can certainly try the other two on yeah. or off air. Yeah. Um, I will say I love the back because I love reading the nutrition facts, right? Is one can, right? Calories, zero. Fat, zero, 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 zero. Like it's my all action. zero. Yes. <laughs> I, I know because I know so many teachers. Now, yes, exactly. Outside of the water category, is a serving size usually multiple parts of whatever the can is? It's a good question. The FDA tried to um, regulate this and what they had, uh, the soft drink industry had gone to about an eight, in, eight ounce, eight ounce is a serving. serving right. And, um, but what they said was if it's eight or 10 or 12 ounces, just call it one serving right. like this, this would technically be one, it's one, one and a serving. half. Yes. But the, the FDA just said, look, if it's 12 ounces and people are consuming it in one Right. That's a serving. serving. Right. That's one serving. It's water. Have and, as much and, as you want. Right. And the water, I, I guess this isn't a thing, but you deal with other beverages and things. And so where people are trying to hide calories or other nutritional things, I've always been like, you never pop open a can of or open a bottle and it's not one serving like you're going to finish it. So but you sometimes will look on the back and it'll well, be. But what about those giant mugs that I was bringing? Yeah. yeah. That for Randall, that's a one serving, Kenny. <laughs> I have just this sourced really good. Uh, some lumber to make the giant mug tree mm. to put it on. Well, I guess I, which is the size of a small. For those Christmas of you who don't know, tree. Randall yeah. likes uh, what would be truck stop mugs. You know the big. I have another ounce. one. I have another one for oh, you. Sixty-four by the way. ounce, basically wrist breakers. Yeah, wrist breakers. <laughs> not when they're empty. <laughs> not when they're empty. When they're full. Um, but I think that's really exciting news, Kenny. Um, um, the product you. tastes great. So yeah, it's, it's uh, nice you got my. I drink a lot of water, so I guess I'll be drinking this. Perfect. Uh, it would be great if we got it into the store too. As well, I, I knew that was the next question, yeah. by the way. <laughs> no, but he's not only he's not only sits on the board; he's also a salesman. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I talk to uh, organizations all the time, and usually they're beverage companies. And like it'll, it just naturally happens. Like you'll you'll be in a room this size, and the sales guys, people will all be there, and then the quiet you know, uh, introverts of finance will be here and the marketing, right. you know, cerebral uh, smart kids will be on the right. And I usually start by saying, who here is in sales? And the sales guys all boisterous. Blah, blah, blah. And then I just say, everyone's in sales. If right. you guys aren't being your brand, how can you expect other people to? That's right. And little did they know that we're getting a two for one. They got the board. <laughs> and you're, the a person is 98% water. So in this case... <laughs> We're drinking a person. They're selling themselves. Yeah. All right. Now. Wait, one other thing. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Um, I didn't <laughs> my, hear anyone my say. Cup is empty. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't yeah, hear just, anyone say it's a proven fact that you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. Well, we're getting close to noon. It's like. Right. That's we, why I had to we, say it. I know, but we, we were waiting for you. And that was the problem. We've already drunk. So we already drinking. Yeah. These are, and the, you know. I'm excited to try some of these flavors and and mixing yeah. some stuff too. But speaking of that, just as it got poured and before it goes Johnny on the spot, mm. John John Hendricks has been totally looking at stuff. He's like, I'm gonna make some drinks up for this summer. He goes, I want to get stuff, you know, of course, not to take anything away from uh your your great thing, but Fever Tree is a sponsor of the show. So we're looking at stuff to do with Fever Tree. Johnny just just did this one, and I think I can can I I don't it know looks like it. summer. You posted. He posted the. Um, it's a sparkling elderflower. Mm. I'll give you the ingredients. He used two ounces of Empress uh, 1908 Indigo Gin, uh, lime juice, elderflower liqueur, and six uh, mint leaves, and el and the sparkling elderflower uh, fever tree. All right. But, uh, this, thing is these, uh, this thing is gorgeous. By the way, locally it, it, sourced. It went, summer. It's it looks like summer. Summer in the glass. 
Congratulations. Did you forge these mint leaves? I'm, I want to know. <laughs> did you? And let me see. In the, I'm in the Julio's parking you, lot? No, did you? So did you poison ivy? <laughs> did you? Did you um, properly slap the mint leaves to release their effervescence? He tapped them. <laughs> And they got to put it on the cocktail shaker. So they're it was probably, just a hint they're probably of violence. Yes, yeah, the so, violence. So, well, you can you can't make good drinks without so violence. Man. That's a that's a proven fact. So pink with some green top on the top. Uh, hey, that's pretty damn good. Like, uh, as a, for good. the summer. Yeah, I think that you should get sponsored by like Lily Pulitzer. These are the two colors that. Yeah. Or Talbots. Yeah. This is this is actually really good. This using the sparkling elderflower. Better than good. Yeah. The gin, lime juice, elderflower liqueur, mint leaves, and you know, you use the fever tree elderflower tonic to top it off. This is really good, Johnny. Yeah. Thank you. If I if you weren't hired, I'd hire you now. But he's already hired. And next week he's and John John did this because of course next week is gin rummy. Next Saturday. Big event. Two o'clock to three thirty, Saturday, June fifth, uh fifteenth is gin rummy you, uh, ten dollar gift card you get to bring a friend on that ten dollar gift card so uh come on down to see us next weekend for that and great stuff like this that you can put together yourself and this is the uh, this is are you gonna be serving a, these at gin rummy uh john or is this no this is just for us prelude. yeah it's just for us mm. yeah that is really really good i like that a lot i'm gonna put this over well here done. i'm gonna drink this later that's really good one minute all right so we got a we got a minute before we uh we we have to take a break. I, don't I would know, say I don't that we have a minute before our audience, don't, audience members. Did I mention my cup is empty? <laughs> did I mean? Well, well I, I know, but that's what I that's what I, that's what I, I know, but that's what I was trying to think of. Like, do we want to do something? Do we want to? How do we want to do this? Because um, I'm just going to waste a minute away <laughs> while I'm thinking. Of what, yeah, while I'm thinking. Oh, I know what we could do. Well, as we go into the break, uh, your friend. From, I have no friend. You do have a friend. You have one oh, friend. Jason from Pretzel, Jason Crisp, from Pretzel, Pretzel, Pretzelized Snacks. Pretzel Crisp, sent us, yeah, I know. Please. Pretzel, I said it right. Pretzelized <laughs> Snacks sent us a a, a, a care package. Mm. So um, these, he Ten basically second. pretzelizes everything. Yep. And this is actually pita chips, pretzelized pita chips. Yep. Wow. So as we go into the break, we, I'm going to open up this bag. And, and we're going to come start. back. Randall will have consumed, consumed all of, yeah, all of this exactly. bag. Yeah, I will do my proper research here on It's the Liquor Talking here on WCRN AM 830 in the morning and on your dial. And we're uh, going to take a quick break okay. and we'll be back. So, 830 in the morning. You look good. I've been here for a while. Yes. I'm sorry I'm so late. Three hours. That's good. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So here's the deal. These are great. I'm a pretzel fiend. I love pretzels. You guys can try some. And I'm a pita fiend. No, please don't go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Who brought the hummus? All right. Johnny, you want to try some? So okay. this is something that you alluded to that I did not understand. A pretzel... Okay. Which I just thought was a shape. The defining characteristic of it is like some kind of caustic wash, wash. and cook. Yeah. And that's what gives it its distinctive brown, crispy kind of layer. And does it have to do with salt at all? Or is that just something that people can then? I think oh, pretzel I think has salt on it, but I think the whole yeah, point they, is, they is really the salted pretzels. Right. But it's more of that the way the, so the, the caustic crunch and everything. Wash that gives it almost like that. Caramel color, crispy, yeah. thin layer, right? Like a veneer, can be applied to everything, and that's what this. this but is, this is doing. a proprietary process of doing that, right? It's yeah, you just couldn't go do this. In your, I, I suppose if you knew all the process, you could. Now, I also he sends us a bunch of stuff, so we would try yeah. a bunch of them. So this is pretzel crack. Now this is pretzel crackers. So the first one we had was pretzel pita chips. Yep, with sea salt. So I we, figured we'd try one of the flavors. This one's pretzel crackers, honey mustard. That's why it's pretzelized. He's pretzelizing pretzelized. several different, different things that are not so. are usually pretzels. Correct. All right. Yeah. Right. Did you get those mangoes I gave you? The what? Remember the mangoes I left for you last Saturday? The pretzelized mangoes? Nope. No, they were mango mangoes. You had uh, talked Fonto also mangoes. something about the world no, best type of mango. I didn't come back in. <laughs> These are really good. So now I am addicted. 
this guy better this this better take off and i'm going to tell you why cuz you're going to give me these things and these are really <laughs> really good and i'm going to promote the hell out of these things because i want them to be around because these are delicious i mean this is this i love this is the honey mustard yep Man, you want them to be good. around but they're mostly like a square shape <laughs> <laughs> This is the cheddar. We'll try the cheddar crackers. With- so, v- Randall should definitely start those with his cheese. No, we're going to try this one. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to try this one. All right, we're coming back. We're going to Buffalo. Back. We're going to Buffalo. What happened house. to Rochester? Fly it on the set, please. Okay, thank you. I'm going to try these now. I thought we were coming back. What do you get when you mix a spirit specialist extraordinaire <laughs> with Lord Supreme Commander of the Gardens? You get... It's the Liquor Talking with Ryan Maloney and Spirits Medium Randall Bird. Live from the Jim Beam Cold Storage Studio in Julio's Liquors. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to It's the Liquor Talking right here on WCRN AM 830. Uh, we're downstairs munching our little hearts out because um, Kenny's friend, Jason, uh, Jason sent us um, a, a, a care package, so to speak, of his new product called Pretzelize Snacks. So we tried the pita chips, the regular sea salt pita chips. We tried the buffalo. Buff- well, no, we, well, I'm going to go with your order. We did the oh. cracker, the pretzelized honey, cracker, honey, mustard, honey, mustard. honey mustard. And now we're doing the pre- um, pretzelized pita chips with uh, the buffalo ones. These are these all are so really, delicious. These are really Brian, good. You're you becoming are angry. <laughs> because I he's, am, he's, I am he's, angry because I get rocked like, your world. Yeah, because flavor. the problem is, yeah, because the, yeah, take, one, take whatever you want. The, because you know what's going to happen? I get angry at these things because now like, I, I will crave them. You don't understand my personality. This made you I fall in to... love with something. Yes. You resent him for this. I do. I do resent him Instead for Instead of it. bringing something wonderful into your life. And that the pretzelize is, is talking about a process where you do a, a type of really what would good. typically be applied to the, the, the twisty knot that you would see as a pretzel, but to, on other products and crackers. Yeah. And bringing that same delicious thing, but melding it with what the core base is underneath. Yeah, and so they are delicious. Two two snacks in one. As somebody who can eat a lot, <laughs> uh, I've heard that about. I you. know that you've pushed all the bags towards that end. Because yes, I you're know. Loving them so much, but <laughs> no, here, give me yeah. give me that. Yeah, but apparently, put, uh, Brian, but the only like the buffalo the, ones. No, no, I like the buffalo ones too. But the problem is, is that I if I if I leave the bags down there, the entire show, I'm just in here. You're crunch, gone. crunch, <laughs> the whole show. <laughs> That's that's my that, that is the, the second thing for radio. It is the most noisy. <laughs> it is the most noisy product, product ever, but but it, m- very delicious, very good. Um, go out go out and find these. We're gonna try to get them here because now I'm addicted. Thank so, you, Kenny. <laughs> he's done this company. Is it so mad? Is it just that he sent them over to us from locally, or just where? No, he. This guy is a snack food. Uh, entrepreneur like no one i've ever seen he has had eight different brands that he's created and sold successfully i think four of them were bought by Haines celestial um one of them was bought by a swiss family um so this guy i mean i invested in this and i don't invest in anything except beverage yeah. well i i can understand he why because you tried it right no i didn't you didn't even on, try this I, stuff? it was a 20 page deck yeah. Oh, and God. all I took from it was the valuation's too high, but you don't bet against Jason in the well, snack food oh. business. It all just right. sounded really cool. And by the way, the first customer that took it was this little supermarket chain called Kroger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those small guys. <laughs> yeah, those guys are tiny. There you go, sir. Now, uh, uh, the I name wanna... of the show is called It's the Liquor Talking. All right. It's the so, pretzel crunching. Yeah. So we've, we've, so thank God John made us a mixed drink at this point because at least we had some alcohol. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to rectify that right now. Mm. All right. So you, I poured for you guys something that, again, is not out yet, but is just been successfully picked. And it's going to be one of our new uh, new offers this this year. This is a Heaven Hill bottled in bond. I thought it was plastic. It's mo- no, it's they plastic. mostly come in glass. But Some come, no, it's, let them come in plastic. Oh, okay. You'd be surprised how many do come in plastic. This is a Heaven Hill bottled in bond, which means there's – the, the, we don't want to give them the re- low, low down on what you have to be to bottle the bottle. Yeah, you have to meet a bunch of requirements. Well, I'm glad you get generally a higher proof it. strength, uh, similar proof. mash bill, and a continuation of of overseeing or, or protecting the One product. Season, so it can't, like, it can't right. be 
meddled with. No adulteration. It's right. a, it's a hundred proof. So this one's seven. This should be seven years old. All the Heaven Hill bottle and it's, bonds are. It's seven. easier to talk about bottle and bond as a stat, uh, as a standard that they came up with after prohibition, so people couldn't monkey or mess with or water down products or mix products, and so it tends to be one of the more pure essences at a slightly higher proof strength than most things that you would find. You know, you know what I think too is um, people that do bottle and bond. It's also one of those type of things that you can. You can get bottled and bond. It's the only time I think you can sort of compare uh, products to, from different distilleries together. If you get a bunch of bottled and bond from different distilleries, you're 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 now comparing sort of apples trait, to apples. Trait, yeah, yeah, and you're and you can sort of see the the distillery character sort of ends up coming through on these type of things. But this is this is one we just picked. This one, I'll I'll give you the name. This one's going to be called the Angel's Number. Um, we got sevens all around. So it's a seven-year-old. It was from floor seven. Um, the barrel number ends in seven. Actually, the barrel number has three sevens in it. So it's like seven, seven all over the place. So we're, uh, the seven, seven, seven is the angel's number. So we're going to name this one. If Because it's from Heaven Hill, why wouldn't you? And right? doesn't heaven rhyme with that number too? Seven heaven? <laughs> yes. It does. All right. So um, couldn't do taste Hill. it. What did you think? Did you like that one? I think can't see you nod on the radio. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was <laughs> contemplating to, you know, like what kind of adjective I could think of, mm. but um, I've already had Delicious. several drinks. <laughs> yeah, This is really good. I, I mean, this tastes better than the Johnny than we when we first even opened it. This was a really, really good. It yeah. has opened well. It, it really has. You made a really comment about PET plastic, which is something I'm a huge fan of, but a lot of people do not want to fight me on. Would they want to fight me on this? Um, they see you're six seven. They usually don't fight you. On no, stuff, no. But I mean, so like they, the, people like glass. They like the bottle. It's heavy to ship, especially in samples. There's breakage. a lot more of a potential for breakage and things. Mm. So if you're really kind of interested in, especially shorter term storage with the PET plastic, it is a very safe and easy way to uh, send it. And and the light, the lighter stuff in volume makes a difference in your shipping costs too because about we just, half that weight is glass yeah. in the small bottles we, we just talked about this I, I was in the aisle with a, a customer the other day and we just talked about we were talking about it's like you know everything's in cans all the beers are in cans i like bottles and, and stuff like that. i said well first of all can technology has come a long long way can you can attest to that <clears throat> the, the flavors that you're getting you if i poured them side by side you probably couldn't tell the difference between the one that came out of the can and the one that came out of the bottle but the recyclability part of it, uh, aluminum can be recycled infinite amount of times, right? And the shipping, that, that, that's the shipping costs, you know, are a lot less because you're not shipping the, the weight of glass. But it, this is also not a new phenomenon. This happened in the 80s mm -hmm. um, when the bottle bill first passed and the state had a, I mean, totally different landscape of what beers were selling. But Miller High Life always sold in their clear glass bottle. Mm -hmm. And as soon as the bottle bill passed, the state sort of pivoted to cans and Budweiser always sold better in cans. That was the beginning of the oh, I didn't know down, that. down the, slide the of Miller. The political landscape up. changed the drinking. <clears throat> Regulatory yeah. landscape changed yeah. something. Oh, my God. How many times has the uh, you know a regulation changed the whole landscape of of of? Yeah, of, it was forty yeah. years ago, and it had a lot less to do with, you know, the the recyclability. It just had to do with I can bring a big bag of right. hands back. It weighs this much, versus right. you know bottles. It's like okay, I've got to drive that over. And I, just I want... tell you, I love bar bottles. The bottles that used to get recycled, oh, and they, they would just and they would just be refilled, cleaned and refilled. Right. There's that. That's another. Those nuance. are heavy glass too, right? Right. There's an. That's another nuance that uh, people don't realize. The, the glass bottles that are up there in your store, ninety-seven to ninety-nine percent of them, are what are called RNRs, returnable, not refillables. Right. The refillable ones could go through the caustic wash, uh, up to twenty times, and you could tell those bar bottles that had been through the process by. You know, when the machines grab them, mm -hmm. it sort of bites into the glass. So on brown glass, especially, you could see all the white nicks. That's right. You know, on the top yeah. and the bottom, there were. But two you knew places. it was in glass, and it was good. Yeah. No, it's, uh, look, uh, that's if we if we as a society really went back to what was right, that would be the best alternative. Uh, exactly. The reusing them as, well, yeah. reusing them as many yeah. times as you possibly can. Returnable and refillable. refillable. 
Right. Well, and I just wanted to point this out. We talked about the shipping and the, and the, how heavy they are, but also um, I was recently in a store. They picked up a, a wine case and the wine case, uh, just the cardboard had become a little bit floppy on the bottom. And so the heavy bottle went right to the floor, right. wine everywhere. Right. And, you know, if, the, and, and I'm, you will speak probably better to this, but that, that doesn't just happen once in a blue moon. Oh, That's no. a fairly regular occurrence. So that cost is factored in for breakage and the returning or the, the credit for that. Well, we talked about corks too. Stealth enclosure, rather a screw right. top, much more effective, much more. Um, you, you don't get corked bottles and stuff. I mean, the, the rate of corked bottles, let's say even a wine is something between eight and 12%. That means one out of every, every bottle Two in the minutes. case that's corked that it uses a cork could be cork could right. be tainted. So, and so, I mean, yeah, I think that know, there's all these great arguments for it, but it is, seems to be a type of thing where people just don't really want to accept a plastic container. They view it as very lower bottom shelf, yeah. but it, I think that there, there, there may be a future reckoning for the argument for more PET uh, shelf stable kind of. While yeah. we're, while we're still on the air and before, cause we, we have to, we have to take a break, but I wanted to let everybody know that right outside of Julio's Liquors today, 140 Turnpike Road, uh, we're in the Westboro Shopping Center. The American Legion Post uh, uh, 0163, uh, the Westboro uh, Legion, is doing a poppy drive out front. Uh, the poppies commemorate the soldiers who fell in World War I and are buried in the Flanders Field in Belgium. And by the extension, the service of all men and women who have fallen in conflict in service of the United States of America. Very important. We just got through We just got through D-Day. Uh, so uh, the D Day um, anniversary. Um, the American minute. Legion number eighty. Num yeah, the the American Legion Post zero uh, one uh, six three uses the funds donated uh, donated to high school scholarships, clothing for homeless veterans, Veterans Day Memorial, Boys State programs, athletic programs, veterans outreach, and donations to veterans in need. So okay. if you're out front today and you see the guys collecting. Get your poppy and um I saw Frisky Whiskey wearing one and he, yes, had, he did. visited the table himself earlier. So yeah. So if you're by Julio's today, come by come by and um and and give Make a little a to, to people who you know gave a lot. So there you go. Uh you guys want to do the wait, how much time we got? Twelve 40 seconds. seconds. <laughs> Forty seconds. I'm gonna read you the question. Okay. So I'm gonna read you the question. All right, let's see if you can just, just get this. We is have 40 this going to be the full question? You ready? The Shanty is a classic British mixed, a British mixed drink of beer and what? Now, do I need to give you any more than that? Yeah. The Shanty. Yeah. The Shanty. All right, Earl Grey tea. I thought it was a Shandy. No, Shandy. shandy. There's the shandy. shandy and a Shanty. Shandy. Oh. Okay. Earl Grey tea or lemon soda? B. B, lemon soda. Are you going to ask a question on the air? No, I'm just asking you. Go ahead. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to go with lemon soda. Come on, guys. Lemon soda. There you go. All right. Get us yeah, out of here. We got the questions over in there. It's the liquor talking, and uh, we'll take a commercial break and come back on the other side. Please stay tuned right here on, at 830 on your dial. Get that out? Thanks. Yeah, I was <laughs> another number probably. Talk about seven. That's true. <laughs> Julio's liquor has all right. We're off the air. Let me see what that pita tastes like. You want to <laughs> Randall's going back to the crackers. Which one did no, you want? No, no, he you said want... pita, which yeah. is this. He just wanted a different, yeah. No, no, the sea salt, yeah. The sea salt one. These are really good. But the, this guy will did have you guys these everywhere. Hmm? He will have these everywhere. I want to get them, find out where I could get them. They're, I think they're not in Massachusetts yet. But they're, he's from New Jersey. These things are going in nice New buddy. York. I see you. And then. Uh, yeah. Don't I have any clout there? Yeah. Can I get them? Yeah. I they don't. sent you stuff. That's the clout. Yeah, that's the clout. That's what I got. But like, where do you get your snacks? I don't even know. We get them from different different okay. places. But wherever I can. Wherever I can. Yes, Randall. There is Usually from Randall because he's. I just typically have the crumbs. There is a sales guy, a regional sales guy who does key account calls, and he lives in Massachusetts. All right. So. Well, get me a hold of him. Get him. Get me on the phone. All right. While we're on the break, I mean, you, you know, this is going to be sort of tough because, I mean, Frisky Whiskey made us these great drinks. 
it's going to be tough to do, but I, I, I say we do it anyways. Um, I have something for you guys to try. It's a Greg Norman presents Caddy. And okay. I don't think we've had the, the, the driver, which is the transfusion. It's grape, lime, and ginger. Ready to drink vodka cocktail with carbonization. You guys ready to try Now, this? I own a couple sure. cars that are caddies. That's, that'll be a, cat, uh, that'll be a it Cadillac. Won't. No. No? It won't. it won't be? It's the Volkswagen Rabbit version of the pickup truck. Oh, and it's wow. called the Caddy? Yes, because Purple. the regular car version was called the Golf. Oh, so the Caddy nice. has the bed in the back for taking And they stuff. didn't get sued on that one, huh? No, because it's actually C-A-D-D-Y. Um, and so... But hmm. most people refer to it as the Volkswagen Rabbit pickup truck. Yeah. All right. So this is transfusion. This is good. Uh, five oh, point five point nine. This is a twelve ouncer. Five point nine ABV. It's good. Green on the yep. outside, but purple on the inside. Purple on the team. inside. Yeah. And we had a couple of these other Greg Norman ones, and they weren't that good. This is the transfusion. So this is the one that's supposed to be. Those like, were shark based, weren't they? Yes, believe they were. Wow, I don't know. Where I fermented that shark, for, fermented shark base. That was a sports <clears throat> Okay, but a little bit like, to me, a little yeah. bit like sweet tart. The, the nose on this is fantastic. The taste has got. The, the nose on All right, so these things always remind me of, like, some concoction that my, my friends would make in college. No. <laughs> and go, here, drink this. This will help. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Help what? Like, it, it helps the equivalent better. of smell this. Right? Yeah, it's, it's like, not yeah, I'll drink this. it, but I'm probably right, gonna regret you can it. taste the grape juice. I got the ginger, it's got that little bit of a spice, but although I can't really tell because I had those I had those buffalo, buffalo wings chips. chips, which are really good. Um which one? The honey mustards? What no, the buffalo down again. again. So <laughs> this is okay. It's it, it's you like this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You get a yay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the enthusiasm is uh, is blinding. I think it's seconds. accurate to way the way it's being described, and mm -hmm. the nose is nice on it. I don't know if I'd spend my money on this. Okay, K there are other Kenny stuff would. that I think tastes better. I would spend Randall's money on yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's about right. I would also spend Randall's. Well, then you wouldn't be drinking this. It's caddy. It's clubhouse cocktails. Um, this is the the type of drink they make. They make the grape juice. Okay, the this is the drink that that's sort of popular on okay. things. So here we go. All right, I got to make a drink. All right. The concierge of all things alcohol, Ryan Maloney, and the medium of spirits, Randall Bird, join forces every week to bring audio nourishment to a parched audience. Live from the Jim Beam Cold Storage Studios in the heart of Julio's Liquors, Route 9 in Westboro, it's the Liquor Talking. Hello, everybody. We're back. It's the liquor talking right here. Oh, you have I'm, stuff open, and you're starting to work away down there I'm making also, a concoction. I'm, I'm call, it's called multitasking, Mr. Randall Bird. Perhaps yeah. you've heard of I it. I just would like to point out to our listeners on the radio portion, which we're mm -hmm. <laughs> that on the break, you were just talking about how your friends used to mix stuff up together and foist it off on you <laughs> to taste it. And Listen, then I you came yeah. back from commercial and are doing the same thing. Well... Okay, so I talked Pure about that yeah. we tried Greg Norman Caddy during the break. It's a clubhouse cocktail. It's a transfusion, grape, lime, and ginger, basically. And uh, it, it had a little sweet talk to me. Kind of liked it. It's like, it's, it is sort of refreshing. It's meant for the golf course. I get all of those type of things, but I also felt that it was sort of like it, when I was in college, <laughs> I'd have friends that would make concoctions. We're all hung over and going like, we got to go like do something, like go golf or do whatever. Go here. Drink this. This will help. Yeah. And, but uh, you know, I'll go even farther than that. You used to go to summer camp and you'd have access to the soda machine. Yeah. And then you'd make swamp water or bug juice. And everyone had their proprietary blend. Yeah. That usually involved at least a portion of every soda that was on the dispenser machine. They always came out brown, didn't they? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that weird? No, not really. Um, <laughs> So I did uh, listen. I I do. I like to look at things. Uh, mix it in a minute. So this is a fever tree uh, one that I just did. Uh, it's using the Sicilian lemonade. Um, it's two ingredients: spiced rum. I'm using the 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 bamboo uh, spiced rum. Okay. And fifty 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 uh, that and the sparkly Sicilian lemonade from Fever Tree. What do we think? You good? I Not think good? your uh, hasty decision panned out. 
you looked around, you saw what you had at hand, you threw it together, yeah. and you, you came up with. Yeah, some try, this. Here. Here. try this. Here, try this. It'll help. It'll help. <laughs> this one, this, this, the, the, the um, bamboo rum is a little bit heavier on the um, vanilla, and I think it goes really nice with the with the lemonade. So, what do you guys think? I'm enjoying it. Well done. Uh, this is another one we put together because next week is gin rummy. Yeah. So the gin, we did a gin drink. Now we did a rum drink. So and for those next, just tuning in, gin rummy is an event where there are a bunch of tables with gins and rums. Free yeah. Father's Day, Saturday, June fifteenth, from two to three thirty p.m. So it's you have a, to do it in advance. Do you have to sign up for it? Yeah, we would purchase uh, we'll, because we try to get a, a list of, you know, get a deal of how many people are going. Purchase is a $10 gift card. If you go into juliasliquors.com, yep. go to the events page, find the gin rummy. It has the tiki head on it. You will you can't miss it. Uh, buy a $10 gift card, which you'll get when you come to the event. We'll give you a glass and you get it, you yep. get the gift card. And you can bring a friend. Yeah. If, if you Or rent one if you have to, I guess. Right. Or become somebody's friends. That's always good. So that too. you can get in on their ticket, too. Why not? Yeah. Now I have this over here. This one open. It is open. All right. All right. We we have we have something else to try. Open the door. Yes. Open the heavens door. Yeah. And this one's called shut the front door. Oh. So I don't know. I think we tried we we tried this before it came out on the air. It's just arrived in time for Father's Day. Yeah. It's heaven's door. Um. It's a cast strength straight bourbon whiskey. Um. This one is twenty a uh, hundred and twenty point eight proof. All right. And I will tell you the the mash bill is 77% corn, 15% rye and 8% malted barley. Distilled in Tennessee but not at Dickel, so another okay. distillery in Dickel. The cooperage is um uh, independent stave and it's a char 4, but a yeah. char 4. So so we've had a a, a sort of a I, I don't want to say sorted, but yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> History with um with heaven's door and and the reason is they've been after us to to buy barrels they started we randall and i used to blend stuff together and then they started about they got rid of that and they started a barrel program where you could buy barrels well the problem was is we went through like i don't want to even say how many barrels before we found one that we actually liked we loved actually and it was called the acorn because every once in a while even a blind pig will get an acorn right Squirrel. well <laughs> Either way, truffle. I should have used oh, truffle. Right. Should use truffle then. How's that? Um, but it was sort of like long and far between before we found one. So we did it. It went great. Everybody bought it. Sold out. Perfect because it was it was really good. So they came back to us again and they said, "Well, we want you to do, you know, would you look at another another barrel?" And I'm like, "Oh, uh, it took us a long time to get that one. I don't know how long it's going to take us to get this one." And then we did end up finding another one. Another one that they were bringing a bunch of samples samples and we're just not finding well, it in the so beginning. Great. We weren't really excited about it. So right. a lot of, a lot of stores or folks may feel that they need to pick from those. Yeah. And, um, we're like, if it's not, we're picky be good, about picking. you're going to be, you're going to be stuck with the things, but also we have a, a long string or a reputation of making good picks. So we do have, I think a little bit more of a attempt to try and wait, Wait, what so, we know will will ultimately right. be a good product. So the next one was called. That's one still don't think twice, right? Because when we tried, it was like, okay, that's awesome. Yep. Let's just go with that one. So um, they came back to us again. And they're like, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, it, it, the second one again took us a lot of a lot of time to get it. I think it was the first one we tried. I was like, shut the front door. This is and this is and this is called shut the front door. Well done, guys. And it's it's a really really good. <laughs> It's uh fifty nine ninety nine, so it's under sixty dollars for this. It's a great package uh, on the whole thing. Heaven's Door, yep. the packaging on this is is fantastic. And Heaven's Door products are great because th what they do is they actually blend whiskeys together to get their t their flavor profiles. Getting a single barrel and blending are two completely different things. That's right. You right? cannot hide a flaw in a single barrel, but a blend can you even can make out higher better. and low right. spots and and get a synergy to making it. So, um, but, you know, we've been talking a lot about samples that are in on the show, particularly today. This is in the store. The way that you know that it's different is it has a little lock and key sticker on the yeah, lower left. And right. And it says, and I the think front you're going to be, um, well, you're going to be sampling some of it. Yeah, Johnny, upstairs, Johnny will so. have it upstairs. So you can try this before you buy it. 
like a lot of our lock and key stuff. So you can you can definitely do that. And again, it's a it, just in time for Father's Day. Great price point. Good, good bourbon. Yeah. And you just have a ball with it. We've already uh, we just re- this is the first day it's on the floor. We pre-released this and we sold like I don't know three or four cases of it off the off the bat. Yeah. Um. And, it and if really you taste good. it, I think you'll you'll also agree with us, hopefully. And uh, that might be uh, yeah. something that would be another great Father's Day gift as well. So Heaven's Door, Lock and Key, Cast Strength, Shut the Front Door. I also want to – I also should point out, Kenny's not involved with this, but uh, Johnny is. Um, we're doing um, a couple other uh, – we're doing a couple other things um, that we're recording. One of them is, is called uh, Three Men in a Bottle. Yes, where Randall, myself, and John uh, sit down and just two sips. Two minutes. Two sips, that's it. Yep. Um, uh, sort of go through and taste different whiskeys. We use the same type of glass for each one. Uh, we sort of kept all the criteria all the same, um, but we're doing different Same swaddling different cloth. Yeah, John will not give up the, the, the three men and a baby reference of three men in a bottle. He will yeah. not give it up. So um, he swaddles it and then presents it to us. But um, they're sort of short, less than usually five minutes uh, of just us going through and tasting whiskey. Yeah. It's a, it's a dirty job, Kenny, but somebody's got to do it. If only there was a four in there somewhere. <laughs> four men. Yes, I think it will work. Well, so, you could tag in on some of Yeah, the, you could definitely tag in. Yeah. We would not, we, we'd have, we definitely would love a special guest. Awesome. All right. You want to try and You'll have thing? to dress as a baby. Why wouldn't? Yeah, we? you have to dress as you have to wear the baby thing, <laughs> yeah. like baby Huey there. Yeah. You know, with that, a big diaper. A big. Well, yeah. I didn't say that, but you did. Yeah. Half <laughs> the fire, the whole bit. Luxardo Blanco Spritz. I mean, we are in. We are in the time, the season of the spritz. I just wanted to have you guys try this Luxardo Blanco Spritz Italiano style. This is Luxardo Bitter Bianco. With uh, spring water and natural flavors, uh, this is ten uh, percent ABV. Um, this is a two fifty can. So, okay. so generally, if Luxardo puts their name on it, it's been stuff that I've been pretty impressed with. Yeah, especially they're, they're like the cherries and the other things that they have. So, yeah, speed drinking, speed, speed drinking. drinking. Show is coming. To an sh- end. Show is coming to an end. We must speed drink. John, you want to try the Luxardo? Totally in my wheelhouse of Italian kind of bitter flavors yep. with a little bit of a sweetness, Ooh. but not something that you would define as sweet. And I'm loving this. Good Ten stuff. seconds. Yeah. Wheat and crisp. Though they don't usually go together, it does in this instance. Thank you for having me again. Did you like that yep. one, Kenny? Yes, I did. All right. So Luxardo, Bianco, it's co- sort of cool because it looks like uh, sparkling water. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you pour it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. No show next week. Yes. Gin Rummy, Gin the Rummy. show. Be to Jim Rummy. Go to Jim Rummy. Thank you, sir. All right. So Thank no, you. I'll do a replay next week. Replay next week. I'll be here. I'll do the whole show by it, myself. It, Kenny's going to do It'll the whole show by talk. itself. He'll be all He'll be up, Kenny. <laughs> He's going to actually go from chair to chair to chair. Hey, I'm Ryan. How you doing? Hey, all right. Thanks, uh, everybody. Uh, Ryan, do you remember my three men in a boat and a genie in a bottle joke? No, but I'm going to get us off air before you do that. (laughs) Goodbye. No, you can tell us.